$50,000 that's exactly how much you can scale if you use these 10 automations the harsh reality is a lot of business today do not use AI properly and if you're not you're missing out on AI opportunities you're losing out to thousands of business who are already using AI to grow and scale we usually charge five thousand dollars per month for all these automations today we're going to give out everything for free these automations include client onboarding client reporting having a client proposal automatically written up for you as soon as you jump off that discovery call if you have a, if you're using a crm how do you then have all this data coming into crm automatically Canonly automation slack automation and more and all this automation i'll be explaining in this video and without further ado let's get started hey guys so this video here to show you all the 10 ai automation templates that can help you grow your app your agency from 50k MRR to 100k MRR okay the first one client onboard actually I'm just gonna pause here to grab this swipe files um, you can download the notion template and I'll include this link in the description below okay so the first one is client onboarding guys and as you can see how we've structured this notion template and we have the name of the, all the automations that we build out and then on the right we have the software that we've you know sort of or the tech stack if you like uh, that we build all this automation on top of the first one is client onboarding has got a lot more um, uh, tech platforms that we use Zapier to pull all everything together like we, so yeah there's, there's HubSpot we use this project management tool called Asana if you've heard of it and then we obviously tap into the power of Google Drive and Google Docs for file sharing and and Slack and with you know slack connects very powerful when it comes to client communication and we use pandadoc for um for you know client agreement signatures and stuff like that so let me just show you how the automation works um quickly close this yep so what does it do the first stage here guys we have um we use hubspot as a crm uh internally so as a you know as the deal go from one stage to another and it's as it hits close one it will start the data or some of the data in google sheet and plug it into the, the new crm so these are all small tasks that can make the whole project become successful so very very uh, important for us to then use project management tool like asana to be able to illustrate or to, to be able to show that progress to your client so therefore we tap into the power to, to, to we tap into using asana as a tool um going forward we have slack so automatically as, you, as your client come on board you want to welcome them uh in, in slack you want to be like hey you know welcome thanks for choosing us as your partner we'd be very happy to be here so all these things can be automated as well and you know this document here i put that as an example because internally what we do what we're doing is we share a client onboarding document right so that client onboarding document might say something along the line of you know again you have a you might embed a loom video or you know ceo welcome message in the word document uh you can have like a list of things that they need to read through as they start working with you so that's a good idea to have that in there and then your panda doc is your agreement so if you take e-signature then you can tap into the power of panda doc to uh to get the signature for you know certain things that you want to call out as an agreement um doing business together okay so that concludes my explanation for client onboarding let's have a look at the second one guys client invoice very similar to kind uh, to you know it's how you take payment essentially um, this example here guys is you know we, we use a Google form to trigger right and invoice can come in many forms it can come in the form of email it can come in the form of documents to keep this example simple we use um, the, the information that you fill out in the Google form send it out as an email to take payment and one that once that um, once that uh, details have been sent through in an email you can also update your, a file within google drive uh, so that you keep a record now you can replace google drive to google sheet for tracking purposes if you like google sheet but for the sake of this example we uh, i've shown you google drive and if you like you can download this template and you can 
start to play with it and change it accordingly okay so the next one is client reporting this is often uh this is this feature here guys it will help you reduce churn because one of the things one of the reason why your client starts to leave you is because they have zero visibility and back to that asana uh, explanation that I was trying to um, show you guys like a very simple asana work work uh, a board you know you might create a sauna board that says start in progress finish but if you can if you can explain in very clear title as to what you're doing on a day-to-day week-to-week basis very unlikely that a client will start to leave you you know obviously you bundle that with your slack uh, if you use slack or whatsapp yeah <laughs> if you like so successful versus unsuccessful right so i won't go too much detail in this but essentially from you know you can you can click into it and you can start to have a look at how it's structured uh the successful actually i was just click into it the successful stripe payment is very similar this is what exactly what we use within our company actually um if a payment comes through you want to record it somewhere and slack main mostly people will just be like a payment come through send a slack message right but what we do is we also collect that data in notion and we want to be able to plot um dashboard because we love our dashboards uh, within dashboard limb so we created we, we we update all created new database item within notion and we start to create dashboards out on top of that notion recently well not recent you know, quite recent still recent uh, they roll out charting options which makes um, notion very very powerful in in, in creating you know in illustrating um, for example how much cash is collected or if you have depending on how you structure your deal sometimes you have installments and stuff like that and all this strap data will be able to help you um, do your finance properly um, and, and, and and have have a view on your cash flow as well okay so let's move on to currently the sales CRM right this is very common use case here for if you use Calendly, if some people use Google Calendar or some people use Cal.com. But that's for the sake of this presentation here, guys, we will use Calendly as an example. Majority of the business model will have discovery call. And as you um, book a discovery call, you can see this is what we do within uh, our agency where we want to make sure every Calendly event gets up it gets you know that flows into the system also update crm now if you're not using crm or you have not got a proper crm what you can do is you can start to send replace this step with a google sheet so every time you have a calendar uh, event that gets booked in you then update google sheet or in this case hubspot which we use um, and you say, okay, well, this contact is, can, is getting in touch with us. We want to be able to serve them accordingly. And you want to be able to then use that information to also do follow-ups if they don't come to your, if they have a no-show, so on and so forth. So imagine this um, automation as you grow and as you become, you know, as you have more and more people, let's say you have SDRs and you have, um, you, know, so, you know, AKA sales reps then you'll be able to just then collaborate with the team and say, okay, well, we have 10 calls coming in. And out of those 10 calls, use it looking at Google Sheet or looking at your CRM, you can start to delegate them accordingly. Is it the setter that goes in first or is it the closer that needs to start to go in there and, um, and do, the sell, do the selling, right? And all that gets channeled into Slack so that you can use the power of Slack threads to start to collaborate and discuss um, what type of, pain points this customer is facing so on and so forth okay so hopefully this example gives you an idea how you can use this automation let's let's have a look at this one uh call it replies no flying sack so this is again very powerful uh, automation if you're using instantly a field call due date which you should and using a logic along the lines of if status are not done or not complete and the due date, the today's date is more than the due date, across that due date, then trigger a Slack alert, okay? And create another task for the managers to start looking into it or create a task for yourself uh, to start looking into it, okay? So that is it. Um, book call reminders. So this one is 
very powerful automation again uh, fairly simple if a Calendly event gets created uh, create a notion item send a slack message and send an email to your team members as a reminder okay so and the to do yeah uh, set a to do task in notion and so one of the things that you you can start to do is in your team meeting or uh, in a few in, in a notion in your notion board you can start to create filters to start pin down uh, a, a specific view for your team members and that can be um, you know they can start to log into that notion page on a day-to-day -day. Um, but if you have also have slack alert then it can be it can serve as a reminder there as well okay this one is what we use and it's still live zapier often have you know, all these templates is well and good but if automation stops working and no one's fixing then essentially you're not going to be able to use this again and again one of mo one of the most powerful thing and alex almost has mentioned this as well right well, one of the highest leverage work that you can do one of them is technology right if you do automations very well essentially you're winning you're competing against your cl your competitors and you're winning in the technology front right but if you're not consistently maintaining this technology and make it work 100% of the time then uh, we'll miss out on we're going backwards basically okay all right back to this you know last automation here where i explain this is um a automation where you can start to create zapier tables okay so if you have if you're not familiar with zapier tables i recommend you uh, to check it out because it's getting smarter and smarter eventually you will uh, have I think they recently rolled out Xavier formulas as well. Um, so this automation here simply will just be triggering Slack to Zapier and creating new records. Um, how you use this is again very similar to how you, you would use um, Notion table or um, any other project management tool. You can have a message that comes through Slack, be it your client's message or your team member's message, and you can record a new entry in uh, Notion zipper tables, all these tools that you're using today. This is an example, but the table, or you can even use Google Sheet to keep it simple if you're more familiar with Google Sheet, right? So a Slack message that comes in, start sending, uh, start saving important messages into a centralized location where you can start to see them on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis, depending on the urgency, okay? Guys, that being said, that concludes my presentation. Hopefully you find this session helpful. So if you're looking to take your business to the next level and scale from 50 to 100K MRR, we can help you. There's a link in the description and you can book a call with us. I hope you get a bunch of value out of this video and I look forward to speaking with you.